I represent the 68th Assembly District, that's East Harlem, um, also known as Spanish Harlem, also known as El Barrio. Uh, so we have a very diverse um, uh, set of folks in this district for a, a long time. We have a strong Puerto Rican uh, um, representation that have come through uh, the Puerto Rican diaspora beginning, you know, as early as, you know, the, the turn of the century and continuing through the 1950s. And then we have strong African, uh, um, uh, African American representation, uh, which has been here, you know, uh, again, almost a similar time period, but beginning mostly uh, in, in strength in, in, the, in the 60s. So we have um, strong African American and Latino uh, that make up the majority of the population here in East Harlem. So I think when we talk about the themes of uh, of, of uh, Afro Latino, it's you know it is helpful in my job and in my daily experience to be able to uh, certainly identify as a Latino, but also identify as you know having African roots and and having. Uh, a, a special uh, way to identify with that experience. And while they are both very distinct cultures and experiences, you know, it, I think it's helpful to recognize that, you know, in our own heritage and culture that there is, you know, African roots. Um, so uh, being able to serve as a bridge amongst those two cultures, being able to, you know, identify you know, if you've grown up in East Harlem your whole life, as I have for 36 years, being able to identify with, uh, you know, with your neighbors who, ha who happen to be African American and also represent, uh, you know, uh, Latinos and, and the, our experience and our, and our culture, being able to serve as a bridge between those two has been helpful in terms of dealing with the larger social issues. And when we talk about those social issues, it's about what impacts African Americans and Latinos in the same way. And this is where we get to the questions and the issues of poverty. Poverty does not discriminate, and it doesn't really care if you're African American or Latino, or, or somewhere in between as Afro-Latino. The reality is, you know, socioeconomic conditions affect us all in, in very, very similar ways. The need to have affordable housing, the need to have jobs, the difficulties in uh, in ascertaining job opportunities, the challenges around education, uh, those are all the same. So being able to understand and get to the core principle of those issues and present them in a way that, you know, recognizes our individuality and the differences in our culture, but also values the similarities of our cultures is I think helpful in terms of trying to bring people together against a common cause. So that is, you know, it encapsulates the daily activities, but also a philosophy that I have in terms of the way that I serve uh, my community and the constituency that we have here, and some of the things that we are trying to do politically on the ground in East Harlem. Uh, we, we formed a, a political club recently called the Arturo Schomburg Democratic Club, and part of that is recognizing the Afro-Latino uh, heritage of, Ar uh, of Arturo Schomburg, who was um, a Puerto Rican born Afro Latino. And what it symbolizes in terms of the diversity of the cultures that exist here in East Harlem and how we have, you know, uh, I believe done more than coexist, but found a way to, you know, recognize and, and try and bridge those gaps. And it has not been an easy experience and it has taken literally generations uh, for us to, to be able to, to, to come close towards bridging those gaps. But, you know, I think. Um, you know, as the passage of time comes, we recognize that going to the previous statement that poverty, discrimination, you know, um, criminal, the, the, the lack of criminal uh, fr um, justice in our communities and the inequities have not discriminated uh, and, and impact us all equally. So um, being able to recognize that those things are bigger than um, are, are bigger than even um, uh, um, a label or um, uh, is, is important for us to be able to eventually ach achieve success. And when we formed the political club, it was under that premise that politically united 
as African Americans and Latinos and Afro Latinos, we are stronger than allowing ourselves to continue to be divided and, to, and be divided by other people's labels, stigmas, stereotypes. Um, and, and, and those have been used effectively to hold us back in terms of our political development, in terms of our um, efforts to get out the vote, in terms of developing political leadership. So um, when we talk about um, the future of East Harlem, when we talk about the future of New York City, or if we talk about the future of you know Latinos in general, it's it's more than just Latinos. It's also the future of minorities in this in this country, in this city, in this state. So I think what we've tried to do is bridge that gap and do so consciously in terms of recognizing that you know we each have certain differences and certain cultures that are unique and distinct but on the big issues you know we we can we should and we will you know continue to come together to try and create um leadership leadership for our community leadership in our com in, leadership in um in, in in politics leadership in government leadership in business and and this has very much been a part of um how I've grown up in the environment that I've grown up here in East Harlem, you know, looking at um, having been in the business world for a little while, um, the challenges around being corp uh, being successful in a corporate environment are not that different from being successful in a government environment. Um, but the challenge is representation. The challenge is being there. The challenge is how do we make sure that uh, we're able to, um, to 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 benefit? And my experience has been, you know. When you're a minority, you know, people look at you with that label much, you know, with a, and, and treat you in that such, and they're not looking for the distinctions between, you know, African American, Latino, or Afro Latino. You know, so it's, it's important for us to recognize that at times we are stronger coming together, and, and for the future of East Harlem, it's important that we, that we are able to bridge that gap and build the structures that we need to be successful.